Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. It's me, Chris, your host, again, back with another video. And in this one, y'all, this one's going to be interesting. I had a request from somebody for this one, so that's why I'm doing it. So this one's about Deep in OS. And is it safe? I don't know. Do the intro, y'all. Welcome back. Thank y'all for watching and like, comment, subscribe, and I hope y'all enjoy this video. This video is interesting because I spent a little time in Deepin and maneuvering through it, looking at things. I went, I had to go into my firewall because I couldn't install PRTG on it. I couldn't install, I did a port scan with Fing, but it returned nothing. There's no open ports. So that tells me that it's not sending nefarious things to places or is it ah so that's what we're going to get into this video and i have lots of proof for this too so i'm going to have to probably blur a lot of stuff in this one but basically i want to start here this is the eula for deep in os the eula kind of tells you hey you this is the end user license agreement you use the software you agree to these things now basically i read the whole thing twice and it basically says don't use it in nefarious ways. If you use it, we have the right to stop you from using it because it's our software. That, In general terms, that's basically what they said. They retain all the rights to everything, as you can see right here. See right here? So they own it. That's all they're really saying. I didn't see anything in here that shouldn't. I mean, the People's Republic of China, right here, governed by the laws of the People's Republic of China. The only thing that I can think of that might be a problem is if the laws in China don't match up with the ones in the United States. I mean, that's the only, because as y'all know, in China, they have a lot stricter laws. They have, they, they place a lot more restrictions on their people. So that is one thing that I can say, mm, I'd be a little hesitant. We don't know. I mean, truly, we don't know what they're collecting. We don't. Now, I'm going to show you all my firewall if I can figure out what I did with it. Oh, dad, let me quit it. So, oh, right here. So, here's what I did. I ran, see, here's my IP. I ran an IP scan on this particular virtual machine that I have running, deep in OS, right? Okay, let me uh, find deep in OS, wherever it's at. Uh, where is it? Oh, darn. Y'all know that's the Pop OS background. Let's see. Which one was it? Uh, oh, right here. Here we go. Okay. So here is, this is pot. This is, uh, the desktop environment of it. Right. So I didn't, I didn't do any kind of file transfers. I didn't do any kind of thing like that. I just kind of wanted to say, you know, this, this thing, it keeps saying it's doing all this stuff. People, People are hesitant to believe it because the um, it's because they think that it's sending th bad things. Now, keep in mind, y'all. Keep in mind, data goes all over the world. There are data centers for Google all over the world. There's like ten of them, right? You have one in South Carolina. There's a bunch overseas. Keep that in mind. It's going to have the IP address of whatever country it's in. So, like, for instance, I ran tests, and I'll include these, I'll include screenshots of the video in the video when I get it done of what. So, all of these, these 94s are pointing, the 186, the last octet, is pointing at Germany, which is a data center. Okay, so then let's have a look. This one here is pointing to China, as is that one. And this one, this one's pointing to the United States in Louisiana. So, I mean, I couldn't really find anything. So these are the ones going to China. You notice it's using an encrypted method, HTTPS. So I don't, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really think from what I can tell. I mean, if you look through all these IP addresses, right? You look through all of them. They're all basically the same traffic. It's the same IPs over and over and over again. 
So it's not like it's sending, I don't think it's sending stuff nefariously. I don't. Based on what I've seen, I did ran a port scan. There was nothing open that I could find. So, I mean, you know, y'all, I, I don't, you know, I don't really think that it's sending stuff nefariously. As an open source software company, one of our team's core mission is to adhere to the open source spirit and promote the open sources source software worldwide. See, and they're, they abide by the GNU, the public license. See, I, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Now, this was in 2018, and this is the most up-to-date one I could find. I couldn't find the new EULA. These are the update notes, right? So I, I don't think, I think the original one is, the, I don't think it's doing anything bad. I mean, it, okay, mind you. Let, so let me run this by y'all, okay? So the first point I want to make is that, you know, their license, their user license is, it's one of the few Linux distributions that you have to do a EULA. But think about this, y'all. It's made by a public company, right? They make this software. They're going to have a EULA. You have to agree to the license terms. You know, they, they build it. I mean, it, everything is like that now. You can't, you can't come to me and say that, that this is not normal. It's normal. Microsoft's been doing it for for 30 years. The same thing. I just don't I don't believe that they're doing anything nefarious. Now that doesn't mean hear me, that doesn't mean that they're not. I just couldn't find anything. I mean, going to Germany, dude, I've seen I've ran firewall scans on lots of things, lots of OSs, and I see traffic going to Germany all the time. Now, typically I will do a global, it's called a geoblock on China, but I wanted to see what was going to China, right? I wanted to see if there was things going to China and come to find out there is. That doesn't mean it's bad. That means there's probably a data center there. Now, what I don't know is if the laws governing the data in that data center, that's the part that I don't know about. I don't know what the laws are governing the data center protection. I don't know. I do know that they they put their thumb on people. I do know that, but I don't know how to what extent. So the second point I want to make is remember, every software company is stealing your data. They all are. Whether they say they're not, they are. And they have it. They're storing it. Now, there are... I believe there's one, it's an email company. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's it's one of the few that, that is actually still legit. They they do secure end-to-end -end encryption if you're both using the same service. And uh, I mean, in my experience, I don't believe that, that Deepin is doing anything wrong, but they're, that doesn't mean they're not. I, I just, I couldn't find anything from my experience. But I'll throw up all the screenshots that I've took. And and I'll tell you, it's one of the most beautiful OSs I have ever seen. I mean, this thing is this thing is pretty uh it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's got some interesting little features and stuff. But that's kind of what I wanted to show y'all. I mean, the third point I wanted to make is this. Okay, you think about this, y'all. Okay, your data is everywhere, right? If you bought a house, they got everything. Trust me. I went through it three years ago. Three years ago, I bought a house. And they took, dude, they wanted documents from everything. It took me forever to get them everything. But that's what I'm saying. Your data is not safe anymore, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. There are ways to mitigate to some degree, but in reality, your data is not safe. They know everything about you. And if they don't know, it's pretty easy to find out. I mean, that's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, so the way you're probably asking me, okay, Chris, how can we protect ourselves? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Use password managers. But even then, can you can you trust a password manager? Are they storing your data? We don't know. 
that's the thing, man. Like these days, things are so different than they used to be. And and that's what I want y'all to know is that things are so much different now. And it doesn't mean they're better. They're just different. It doesn't mean they're better or worse. They're just different. Data is such a widespread phenomenon now. Data is like that's what people that's what companies are into because data gives them statistics. Data gives them statistics to go by to see what people are doing. They want to know, hey, he bought this or he bought that. Well, I mean, that's kind of how it goes. You you can't my advice to you, don't trust any company. That's my advice. You are not you're in business. They're in business with you. Right? You pay for a service, they give you a service. You pay for something, they give you a service in return. That's a business transaction and nothing more. It's not a personal a personal thing. It's business, nothing else. So that's the way I if I were y'all, that's the way I would treat it. I would not take it, I would not trust these companies. I'm telling you. That is the worst thing you could ever do. Your job is not to trust the company. Their job is to deliver the product and services that you want at the price you're willing to pay. That's what their job is. Now, when it's free, there's a saying. This is my conclusion, y'all. There's a saying that says, when the product is free, you are the product. Right? When it's free, you are the product. Keep that in mind. When you're going on the internet, right, you, you've got to understand that there are things that out there that track that track you. Honey, I would never, I wouldn't put that on my system ever, 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 because I'm telling you, okay, so here's how I know this, right? I put it on here one time. I had it on this, this, this uh, web browser. This is Microsoft Edge. I know, I know, I know. Nobody likes it. Whatever. I kind of like it. It's pretty good. I installed Honey on here, and it was the worst. It was like a piece of malware. It wouldn't stop popping up. It just kept coming up and kept coming up. Mind you, that's what its job is. But at the same time, you know, I, I don't trust the application that does that. I don't because think about it. It's collecting data. Think about that very carefully. When the product is free, you are the product. Remember that. Honey is free. I would be hesitant to trust it, y'all. That's just my opinion. As for Deepin, I'm going to leave it in y'all's hands. Would I trust it? No, I wouldn't. But I like the OS. It's a good operating system. Does it? My, I bet you, I would, I would bet money that Microsoft takes more data than Deepin does. I would bet money on that. So that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, may the Lord bless each and every step you take. And I'm signing off from the Cheryl Technology Channel. Y'all have a great day. And also, remember this, happy Memorial Day. Thank you for all the soldiers that died and the ones who fight right now. We love you and thank you. Until next time, peace.